This ranking is based on the play score, a standard rating that averages gamer reviews and critic reviews. Opening our list of the top 10 Xbox One games of 2017 so far is LEGO City Undercover. Rising above LEGO's usual movie licenses is their extraordinary and extra funny original story, starring LEGO City's most charming undercover police officer. While it was originally released as a Wii U exclusive last 2013, this improved release will let other consoles finally experience Chase McCain's hilarious misadventures, along with a handful of new features. Inspired by the Grand Theft Auto series, the roles are reversed as you play the top cop on an underground mission to capture the criminal Rex Fury. Don a variety of suits with unique abilities, smash some bricks, ride some cars, and catch a few witty movie references in this self-aware parody of the classic buddy cop genre. One of the most important changes was the addition of two-player co-op that lets a friend drop in as a palette swap companion at any point of the game. Critics agree that this is a smart re-release. The jokes are still funny, the gameplay is fun. Outside of the comedy, there are points when it gets a bit boring, but don't despair if you love the original release. Except for the needed graphical tweaks, it's pretty much the same game. It receives a play score of 8.31. Number 9 is Outlast 2. Ready some diapers because Outlast is delivering another dose of pants-shitting psychological thrills in this second installment of their critically acclaimed survival horror. Follow the story of journalist Blake Langerman as he roams around the Arizona deserts in a desperate attempt to find his wife after a recent helicopter crash. Populated by an apocalyptic sect, it's safe to say his missing wife is the least of his problems. Meander around the eerie silences of the eternally dark landscapes. Collect some batteries, gather some bandages, and hope whatever creatures lie in the darkness don't find you first. More anxiety simulator than horror movie, this second Outlast title will have you white-knuckling through quiet moments, tension just continuing to rise until the monsters finally come to get you. While most consider it as the lesser of the two titles, Outlast 2 has been said to build upon the strengths of the original to deliver a more creative, albeit uneven, gameplay experience. A play score of 8.32. At number 8 is Rhyme. Originally dismissed by Microsoft due to a policy mismatch, the Prodigal game just recently came to the Xbox system, along with plenty other consoles, after their successful PlayStation 4 debut. With their gorgeous, Ghibli-inspired, cel-shaded graphics, it's definitely one of the most beautiful adventure releases this year sharing the limelight with Nintendo's very own Breath of the Wild. A third-person adventure puzzle game, play as a quiet boy who washes upon a strange and mysterious land. Differentiating itself from the others, Rhyme does not offer any sort of combat, focusing mostly on puzzle solving and exploration. Discover its many secrets as you explore the serene environments together with a magical fox, unraveling a series of tricky dungeons and a captivating story of love and loss. As you wander around, you'll get to know a collection of intriguing characters that add to the vibrancy of the game. It's a testament to the power of the genre, as you play through the game, fueled mostly by an ardent curiosity. And herein lies Rhyme's polarizing appeal. To those who love exploration, it's a goldmine. While those who prefer action-packed mayhem may consider it dull. It has a play score of 8.33. Number 7 is Prey. Bethesda's latest reimagining of the classic masterpiece takes you to Talos 1, a space station infested with extraterrestrial dangers. Follow the story of Morgan Yu, a researcher caught in a spiral of madness. Escape from the derelict ship and live to tell the tale. Use your powerful mind-bending abilities to tear them apart. And when all else is lost, blow them up with your futuristic weapons. The game happens during an alternate history where JFK was never assassinated. Step into the peak of high-end space programs and soar into the unknown. Compared to its original, the atmosphere remains the same. Its first-person action is oozing with futuristic flair. Powered with this generation's powerful engines, the experience is visually satisfying. Fans and critics love the game's open-ended sci-fi action, making every walking journey a digital playground. However, it was criticized for its weak storytelling and somewhat unresponsive AI. It has a play score of 8.33. Number 6 is Torment, Tides of Numenera. This is the spiritual successor to Planetscape Torment, one of the best RPGs ever made. Discover the unpredictable nature of the Ninth World in this turn-based isometric RPG. 
forge alliances and defeat enemies as you embark on a quest to find your creator and save yourselves from the sorrow. Tread lightly to its beaten path filled with ominous creatures and deadly quasi-medieval machinery. Find allies and set on a journey of reading, reading, and more reading. The game is fueled by narrative, which means reading carefully is key. Drawing your sword and following through its lengthy 35-hour single-player campaign. That's not even counting the insane amount of side quests. With all these, Tides of Numenera is a game brimming with deep exploration. Meet the friendly and unfriendly locales around its desolate world and complete tasks that challenge the RPG fanatic in you. If there's one thing that this game didn't do good, is that the combat is a bit dull. Aside from that, everything is in the right place, making it a worthy spiritual successor for Planetscape Torment. This game has a play score of 8.34. Number 5 is Little Nightmares. Picture Lewis Carroll, Hayao Miyazaki, and Tim Burton teaming up for a horror game. This is the closest thing we could get. Little Nightmares is a descent into the true horrors of human nature with childhood fears as its primary focus. Follow Six as she ventures into a place called The Maw where rotten creatures look for their next meal. Don't be mistaken, this is not a children's game. Every monster you encounter is terrifying to the core. With Six's minuscule platforming adventure, you might want to grab your controller all the time for its intense chase sequences and puzzle solving. Use your height as an advantage and stay away from these vile monsters. It's a fantastic indie horror game filled with so many details. However, it was criticized for its short game time and underwhelming story. On the bright side, it gained numerous praises due to its atmospheric world and downright creepy designs. It's one of the finest horror games to release this year, and it has a play score of 8.36. Number 4 is Bulletstorm, Full Clip Edition. 2011 was a long time ago, and fans are itching to play one of Gearbox's critically acclaimed shooter once again. Wish granted, they said. This full remaster of the glorious shooter runs at a smooth 60 frames per second and contains all the add-ons of the original game. Talk about full clip. Stranded in a hostile planet, control Grayson Hunt, a member of a badass group of elite assassins called Dead Echo. Find your crew and demolish every creature blocking your path with its visceral first-person shooter experience. Perform your smooth, masterful skills against these mutated beasts and escape this dangerous planet. But before that, he has to find his missing crewmates. Not much has changed compared to the original, except for its Unreal Engine 4 makeover and a few extra content for the full clip edition. Unfortunately, it's not that much. From the ashes of the last generation consoles, this definitive edition is a stylish addition to your list of badass shooters. It has a play score of 8.41. Number 3 is Thimbleweed Park. Xbox One's highest rated indie game is a neo-noir mystery set in 1987. From the creators of Monkey Island and Maniac Mansion, they give you a game loaded with questions, questions, and more questions. What happened to this dead body? Why are we in a theme park? Is this a medical facility? What is really going on here? Apparently, the game feels like Twin Peaks meets comedy. It mixes the creative juices of Roy Gilbert and Gary Winnick into an absurd murder mystery story that doesn't really take itself seriously. Meet the park's weird locales such as Ransom, the Beeping Clown, and more. With its pixel visuals, immerse yourself into the strangest nights in your life. Point and click your way to solve the mysteries that lie deep beneath the park and uncover the truth behind every suspicious mess. Don't worry, this ain't a horror game. Or is it? One thing's for certain though, this is not a walking simulator. It has a play score of 8.56. Number 2 is Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. Who would have thought that the Resident Evil series could return to its roots? Capcom made the right decision to shift from its usual third-person camera to first-person mode. Watch how horror really feels when it's literally in your face. Follow Ethan as he finds his missing wife in a creepy mansion in Dolby, Louisiana. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? Get to know the Bakers, a family of dysfunctional people obsessed with the concept of family. The mystery grows even bigger when you're faced with the molded. These creatures aren't okay, and you have to kill them if you can. The game was very well received due to its atmospheric return to horror. The puzzles remain very nostalgic to the classics, and the story ties very well to the future of the franchise. 
However, some are very displeased with the game's short game time and lack of monster variety. Nevertheless, it feels like Resident Evil is on the right track. It has a play score of 8.89. Here are the runners up before we reveal the number one. Sniper Elite 4. This sequel to the Sniper Elite series improves upon the previous releases. New ways to take down enemies, courier kill animations, solid multiplayer, and missions on bigger scales. Where it stumbles, still, is in its lackluster story and very basic stealth mechanics. It has a play score of 8.23. Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands. Critics dub it a little too safe for good reasons. This open world military shooter has all the hallmarks of a hit. Solid shooting mechanics, expansive with beautiful visuals. But it got buried by two excellent open worlds, Breath of the Wild and Horizon Zero Dawn. It receives a play score of 8.21. Tekken 7. Return to the arena in this fast-paced fighting game oozing with visual flair. The King of the Iron Fist is back but it gets personal. The feud between the Mishimas are about to end and it's time to meet the cast of new and old characters. It's praised for its balanced combat, fun rage art, and complex skill ceiling. Unfortunately, the story is a bit ridiculous, but that's how Tekken works. It has a play score of 8.08. .08. Halo Wars 2. This real-time strategy game delivers on all the basics of the genre, especially when you consider that it's on a console. It's easy to pick up, but also offers a certain complexity that fans of RTS will surely enjoy. It might have scored higher if not for a short campaign and microtransactions in Blitz mode. It has a play score of 7.98. Ukulele. Yes, it's a good looking platformer with lovable characters and is relatively fun. But technical issues and outdated gameplay keep it from ranking higher in this list. In the end, it's not for everyone. But if you enjoyed rare games before, you'll definitely like this one. A play score of 7.87. .7. Mass Effect Andromeda. In spite of all the memes and animation blunders, this action RPG isn't that bad of a game. Yes, there are head-scratching technical issues and uninspired scenarios, but once the story gets going, it shines. Let's put it this way, if you're a big fan of the series, it's a must-have. But if you're only getting started now, maybe play the older titles first. A play score of 7.85. The Surge. It's much like the Soul series set in a futuristic dystopian world. It looks good, the combat and customizations are worthy of praise, and the cruel difficulty is comparable to that of the Souls games. Now that the groundwork has been laid, we just need a more engaging story. A welcome addition to the action genre with a play score of 7.84. LEGO Worlds Think of it as a love child between Minecraft and No Man's Sky, a procedurally generated open world made of LEGO bricks that you can play around with. It's a step in the right direction. Now we just have to wait for updates to fix the confusing construction controls and bad combat system. It receives a play score of 7.67. Everspace. This space shooter, matched with the unpredictability of roguelike elements, will appeal to sci-fi fans. The glossy graphics and intense gameplay all makes up for the lack of variation. But what's more important is that it's enjoyable, no matter your skill level. It has a play score of 7.55. Rise and Shine. A 2D platformer slash shooter filled with gaming references. There's a big split in critics here. Some enjoyed the gameplay while others hated it. The same for the visuals. It might be one of those polarizing games, but they all do agree at wishing it was longer. It has a play score of 7.44. You may get these games right now by clicking the links below. And the best Xbox One game during the first and second quarter of 2017 is none other than Injustice 2. NetherRealm Studios' superhero fighting game is finally getting the sequel it deserves. The battle between Batman and Superman's convictions are reaching into even greater threats. Dish out your badass super moves in its fast and frenetic fighting experience. From the team that brought us the latest Mortal Kombat game, what could possibly go wrong? The game is just like its original. Weave through its single-player campaign and find out the deeper connections between Batman's insurgency and Brainiac's arrival or you could go online and fight players from all around the world. Perhaps the game's latest feature is its loot dropping system to complement its new gear system. Customize your hero from top to bottom with status altering effects. Fulfill your fantasy battles with the new cast of characters like Supergirl, Gorilla Grodd, Captain Cold, Scarecrow, and more. 
critics praised the game's slick action and well-written story. Some are even calling it close to perfection due to its impressive animations and special effects. No doubt about it, this is Xbox One's best game with a play score of 9.10.